And welcome to the Part Time Nerd Podcast with me, your host, Alan. And joining me in very close proximity today is one Mr. Rapid Dave. How are you doing, buddy? Two dudes, one room, ready to rock. <laughs> right? Let's do this. So you can see things are different. Um, today's Wednesday. We're recording all these on Wednesday. Uh, that's podcast day for us for Strikeout Beer. Mm -hmm. And I decided just to come up. We said, you know what? Just come on over early and let's just record them over here at the, at the, in the podcast room. Yeah. So I said, all right, man, let's do it. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Things look a little bit different. We're, but yeah, we'll roll with it. We'll go with it. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Nah, I mean, I don't know, man. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be great. Cool. So here we are continuing on with our Harry Potter series. Oh, yeah. We're on Harry Potter 6. Oh, yes. Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Got it up on TV right now. Yeah. This my movie, favorite. My favorite. Really? Absolutely. Oh, my God. It's so phenomenal. Okay. This is going to be awkward. Um, this one came out in 2009. Mm -hmm. um, I I just, I don't know. No, you don't like it? I didn't like this one at all. Um, Tell me why you didn't like it, and we'll talk about it. We'll work through this together. It, The story, I, I, I feel like the story wasn't really moving really well. Okay. It picks up um, immediately after the last one. Right. You yeah. know, dark times, we're in dark times, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, Harry is transient now apparently uh just travels all over the place he's not at his is in or his uh aunt and uncles like the, it, that's how they start almost every one of them right like the last three or four right. and now they start this one he's just at a bus station bus he, whatever he, he's at a coffee hit, shop hitting on some lady hit, right all of a sudden he's like you know return Jeff of the Dan mac right <laughs> you know he's like oh he's a harry potter oh that that guy's a a wanker a tosser yeah yeah a tosser she's like oh and she's walking away he's like you know what Hey, I was wondering. She's like, I get off at 11. <laughs> He's like, all right, I'll see you then. Done. Yeah. And I'm like, who the heck is this guy? This is a guy that couldn't even look at girls. You got to shoot your shot, chief. Obviously. Yeah. You know what I mean? But and So it, Dumbledore shows up, immediately takes him on another. I mean, it, uh, Dumbledore's always showing up and taking him on adventure. They run off to go get the, the professor. He's hiding in like some muggle's yes. house, dressed as a, or as a, as a armchair. Armchair. <laughs> Destroys the house. Yeah. Wrecks it all up, and the cool thing is, dragon's blood all over the place. You can wreck whatever you want, and then just you just do a quick spell, and everything goes back the way right. it was. A um, lot of fun. I, I, I'm drawing a blank on the professor, but I like him through this uh, movie. Um, um, it's in here. Somewhere. Don't worry, just keep going. But and you've also got the the death bringers or eaters? death eaters, death eaters, death eaters are messing with the real world. Yeah. Muggles, the muggle world. They're, 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 they're not messing with just pretend land anymore. Yeah. It's now with the real world and, and they're destroying a bridge that people are on and they're just, yeah, they're wreaking havoc. Yeah. They're just being, you know, can I say pricks? I mean, you because just did. only a prick would start <laughs> S with people who can't really defend themselves or don't, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're just yeah. dicking around. They're bullies at this point. Right. Yeah, I mean, they're just, I, I don't know, man. Piss ants. We'll call and, them piss ants. And so they go and he take Dumbledore takes him there so we can recruit this professor mm -hmm. to, to come to Hogwarts. Damn it. Okay. I can't think of his name. I'm losing my mind. Uh, it's, I'll, I'll come across don't it at bother. some point in time. But, and then he's like, oh, and he's like, and Dumbledore's like, oh, sorry to ruin your evening. She seemed like a really lovely lady. And he's like, that's okay. I'll just go back tomorrow and just make up a lie. Like, <laughs> oh, no. And Dumbledore's like, well, about that. No, you're going somewhere else. He's like, but my owl, my stuff. He's like, oh, it's already there for you. Don't worry. They seem to take a lot of care <laughs> of all this stuff. Like, he doesn't have to really worry about a lot of stuff. No, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. But that comes with being an affluent team, you know? <laughs> he's he's rich beyond his wildest dreams, and he doesn't have to worry about that. Yeah. So people just cater to him. And then Dumbledore drops him off in a pond outside of the Weasley house. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's horus First, something I, i'm almost there it's horus something god almighty i hate you the internet sometimes <laughs> i hate you <laughs> but drops them off just in, in this in this pond can't even take him to the house like okay first you you ruin his night so that you can try and recruit this guy and then you just drop him in a pond like yeah it, that's kind of a kind of a d move right <clears throat> they they get in that pond quite a bit Throughout the movies, and you'll they'll, they'll, they'll get into it a little bit more. It's not even much of a pond; it's just a, you know, shallow pool of water, if you will. <laughs> it's a it's a large puddle. Yeah, it, it is. It's a large puddle. 
But and so he's getting there, and then all of a sudden people hear the owl, and then you see Genie Slughorn. God yeah. dang it, Professor Slughorn, Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> whole time. <laughs> but you see Genie, she's like, Oh, Harry's here. Mm-hmm. And she's like, Mom, when did Harry get here? Harry's not here. Yeah, that and whole then Ron bit. peeps out, is like, Did I hear an owl? And it just keeps going up <laughs> and yeah, further and her, up. Hermione and... shows up and she's brushing her teeth. Hey, congratulations, and... you said it right this time. You always go out of your way to be a dick. To... I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, her, what do you, Hermione? That's what you always call her, Hermione. <laughs> but she shows up and, like, at first I'm like, She just move in? Like, yeah, why is she there? And she's been there. You find out she's been there for a few days. Right, right. I'm like, I don't know. It, it's very awkward, the tension between the two of them. Yeah. But then Harry sees Ginny. She's like, oh, you've grown up. Oh, like, wow. He yeah. says that? Well, I oh, mean, he, with, with his, his eyes. eyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I don't mind. I don't know. We're going that. back to the kind of the, the kind of tension you had between Ron and Hermione okay. during the, the, the first few movies, right? right. Where right. they're just kind of both standing there just, oh, oh, hey, hi. Oh, oh God. Oh. All right. And then this whole the whole thing is. It becomes this big awkward thing between Harry and Jeannie because she has a boyfriend. Yeah, she's dating Dean Thomas. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Ron and Hermione because like she's like going to invite him to this thing. And hey, there's another girl that's sweet on Ron, on Ron and Ron yeah. goes with it because Hermione hadn't. I guess he doesn't know that Hermione likes him. Blah 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 blah. But everybody else in the world <laughs> knows, I guess. But yeah, it. Then it's, it's, as they're trying out, it's his competitor for goalie for the, the Quidditch team. So this guy that's that, you know, Hermione is screwing with Ron with likes Hermione, actually. But it, it's, it's a bunch of screw. It's high it's school sh- uh, stuff that the worst. Yeah. And so you, you've you got because they only play one one Quidditch game a year. Right. There's only one game a you, year. You say that all the time, man. They're not going to give a whole damn movie of like, you know, a whole Quidditch, saying, like a bracket of uh, 64. You, you get Come one on. game a year. Jesus. But you've got to you've got a player who wants to be the goalie who's obviously better than Ron. Yeah, Ron's not good. The dude snagging a fly out of midair, right? Who like, is uh what what they call it? Neptism or something like that? Yeah, yeah. nepotism. And yeah. so he gets in because he's you know Harry's friend. But there, Harry does you know act like he's gonna give him a little little liquid luck, and he shows up. And so he's actually you know as long as he has the confidence about him, right? So tell me what the I don't want to. This does not need to be this, that long of a video. But why this, do you not like this movie? Part of it is that this whole love square thing that you have going on this is typical like, high school I, you know 14 well, but, to 17 year old oh, stuff but it's not because now gryffindors become a frat house because <laughs> after the game ron is king of the world everybody is chanting his name everybody's drinking everybody's having a great are time. they drinking oh yeah you can see the what is the it? party cups the, the, so butter, the butter beer oh, in the they background beer. yeah you, okay. they've got a keg in the back that's oh, specific it legit says butterbeer across it. You're serious? I'm dead serious. Oh, my God. And, and then, like, early, I don't know, was this before or after? I don't know which point this was. But at one point in time, they, they go to the bar mm-hmm. to meet uh, Hognose. And Hermione gets drunk. Slughorn, you jackass. Yeah, that's what I said. So she gets drunk. <laughs> she does. She gets a little She's walking up. back, and she's swaying back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arms around everybody. Everybody's having a great time. Then um you got the one girl who gets hexed yeah but it's just th- that that whole love thing you're you're you you glazed over one of my favorite parts of it because when they're in the bar well slughorn's there and he's already been drinking a little bit and he spills exactly. his drink oh, all hands on deck there are my great <laughs> <Right. laughs> like, <laughs> he's actually There's, i really enjoy the movie and i like that part there yeah because you relate to it being drunk and spilling your drink on people and saying hey all hands on deck uh, i wish i wish that it would slip out of my <laughs> mouth and say that's so clever so here's tryouts right now yeah and you got ron who's wearing this like leather helmet that's how like, that's the gear that they wear only well that, they didn't wear in the first couple him. of episodes but just he's him, the yeah. only one <laughs> his mom's on his on his ass about you know protection he's got to use protection yeah. um but i mean all in all it's it's listen you can bash but, can we talk about how hot draco's mom is <laughs> and draco's a I mean, super p in this movie and, no well when did he become this he became he's become more yeah like he's not as big of a p as he used to be he's right? a p by the end of the he, movie he would begin- run away in in the beginning right the, 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 the first four movies anyone stood up to him he'd run away like a little girl yeah well you this know? one he actually like zaps harry stomps yeah. on his face yeah and then Covers him back up later, jerk. <laughs> right? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying is, you know, but towards the end of the movie, when he's got to do what he has to do, he he does become a... Ma- he, it's, he's fighting it inside. And this is where you actually... 
I think you start feeling for him a little bit. This is where it's like, oh man, this kid, he he wants to be back. He just doesn't have it in him. And he actually the good is shining through. And then plus, I'm telling you, man, Draco's mom. I'm telling <laughs> you. I could and RIP, by the way, she's she's passed. She passed away last year. Okay. Uh Helen McCormick, I believe her name was. Okay. So yeah, right. yeah. RIP. Um, but but it was that, and then like when it kept going back and forth between these black and white scenes. Like, are we trying to be an art house movie or are we trying to make a harry potter movie they're trying like, to just give you something good. This, just, this, the movie's great I it, think. like look I, at i mean it looks great I, you know the the if when it goes to black and white when it goes to this or that you know i think it's i think it's a really good movie especially for like it's a six is it six or, or it's number six or number six um so i think they've progressively gotten better and then as they're getting older they're getting a little bit this is where the changes this mm -hmm. is where it goes from oh a jolly good little you know they get right. the little scamps get into something every week right or every year but this one this is, is the first movie where they point it out. You've got the this is where it gets dark. The head of Gryffindor. She's like, why is it that every time there's problems, the three of you are right there in the thick of it? Yeah. And Ron looks at him because, you know, I've been asking myself the same question for years now. <laughs> <laughs> Professor McGonagall. I, I yeah. we never I, we can never pull up her name. But here here's Hermione again, just throwing out spells at a Quidditch match. She's always she's always doing it. And so she mm -hmm. she cheats Ron into getting a. a starting goalie job yeah so they got lucky they won because they went in with an inferior goalie yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> and again this is how these three kids just do whatever they want to yeah. and they, they just, just do what they run the school it. they do what they, they want they, they do. do they, they do. do but it, and you've got but i love this book i love i love that he's going through this and he's super glued to it they're talking about how he goes but, to bed with it and stuff like that and, but here's my thing like yeah this is harry potter and the half-blood prince right right and they mention it when he looks at the book the first time. Right, right, right. And then they're like, oh, well, whose book is it? We need to find out whose book it is. They're like, oh, it's nobody's. And they look, oh, the Half-Blood Prince. Who mm -hmm. is it? And then, you know, Hermione, she went and looked and tried, uh, looked him up in the, the library. I couldn't right. find him. Right, right, right. Okay. And then nothing else is mentioned. Yeah. The, that, being the Half-Blood Prince doesn't really mean much. Like, it's billed as, like, I expected it to be more... Like a bigger reveal, right? Like, okay. well, not even just that; just it to mean more. And I don't think it really meant anything. Oh, it was Snape's book. Yeah, and he's not a prince, I don't believe. You know, maybe I, someone can I, elaborate. I, I know you guys tear us apart in the comments and bring all this stuff to light, which we love. Well, it's, it's we they've read more. the books. Yeah, you know, there's read a lot the more information in the books than there is in the movies. Yeah, and, and these, we're these just are the doing movies. the movies. Right, right, right. So, but in the movies, it's it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you find out it's Snape. Okay, but. And then you've got the reveal that, and I don't know if that's necessarily a reveal. Maybe I feel like it's more misdirection that Snape is in cahoots with Voldemort. So uh, and, well, let's bring this up now. Is Snape a good or bad guy? I ask you every week. I, I think he's. I think he's good. I think they're pulling the okie doke okay. and pulling some redirect. And here's here's why I think he, this. he makes an unbreakable vow to kill Dumbledore with to, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Malfoy to look after Draco. Draco. Yeah. And I don't think when he signed up for it, he knew he was going to have to be the one who pulls the trigger, right? But he but did I, it anyways but, because, you know, it's un, you but, can't do you but can't at that, break but at that point in time, yeah. he's deep undercover, right? I think he's deep undercover with deep, Voldemort's group. Deep undercover. Yes. This, this is just what I think, okay? Stay with me here. <laughs> because he's, he's hesitant. No spoilers in the comments. Alan, this is Alan's very first time first going time. through all these movies. So we have two more after this. And, right. Or no, is it three, three two, or two? Two. 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 Uh, the Deathly, Deathly Hallows. Hallows. One and two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, oh, crap. And then, Draco's always there whenever they're, they're talking about like hexing someone or doing something or whatever. Right, because he's the one who's... <laughs> Yeah. He, he created the hex and he wanted Dumbledore to get that necklace. Yeah. And then he poisoned um, Homeboy's drink. Yeah. Because that was going to be a gift to Dumbledore. Right, right, right. And Ron ended up getting poisoned. Uh, There's Jenny but, Weasley in the corner getting getting frisky with Dean. Yeah. And Ron and uh, Harry's over there just just depressed. Yeah, like, he is. Yeah. Uh, the, never mind. Like a few days ago, he was getting ready to shack up with a random lady at the Waffle House. Hey man, when you're out and about, you gotta you gotta do I'm what you gotta saying. do. You know what I mean? He's still, you know. But he ain't seen the genie and grown up yet either. Yeah, right. right yeah. So this is my I swear to God, my, look at him. He's all wild ass, got this hair all crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> Sam, this is my guy right here. So with Snape, yeah. he does that, yeah. and then you forward later, and him and um, 
I keep. I almost want to say Gandalf every time. But it's not Gandalf. All, it's Dumbledore. All hands on deck. And he's looking. He's like, "You're asking so much. <clears throat> I, I, I don't think you can expect all this from me." And I, I think at that point in time, he's having that conversation with with Dumbledore, saying, "Look, here's what's going on. It, here's what's going on." He's like, "You know, hey, do what you gotta do." And then when it comes down to it, and Draco's, you know, pointing it the the thing at him, and he's not doing it, and Snape comes in. Look at the camera more. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just. But and, and Snape comes in and he looks at Snape and he just says, "Please." Right, right. And bam, he does it. Before that, he's down there with Harry and he tells Harry, "Look, I got this. Don't say like, anything. Do not emerge look, yourself. Don't don't, don't don't say or make a noise." Right. So I, I feel like there's something S- going on. Snape, Snape is, and if you look at D- Dumbledore's worse for wear. His hand's pretty much gone. Right. Yeah, he's got that spell on him. He's got that going on. He he did the or drank curse. The, I, curse. Sorry. He, dra- he drank the thing mm-hmm. when they were trying to get the the the, the, the horcars. The horcars. Yeah. Um. So he was kind of messed up from that. Yeah. He's sacri- he's sacrificing himself for the greater good. Right. Right. He knows he's on his way out. They made the joke like, "How old is Dumbledore?" He's like 153 or whatever. Yeah. yeah right. Something like that. He, he knows he's on his way out the door. Mm-hmm. It's everything that he can do to get rid of Voldemort, and they know how to get rid of him. They know what happened. They know why he was able to come back, why he can't really die because he's, he's split separate, up his soul. He split up the soul, yep. In seven different pieces. Yeah. Um, and the only way to do that is to get these artifacts. Mm-hmm. Well, how are you going to find out that where all the artifacts are other than having a mole inside? So – okay. Snape is he's he's deep undercover. This is real early. He was so excited and... <laughs> to come over here early. early so early. that's what I think is going on with that. Um, and you get the reveal that the artifact that they got was a fake. There was and, a fake one in there. Yeah. And R A B has. Had this, did the one they reveal R A B in this the, movie? I don't know who R A B is. Okay. It's just it's they'll reveal the next R A B. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, they, they'll do the next that's one. That's what you find out. That's oh, what's dude. going on. Yeah. In this episode, here's the one thing I don't know. Like, this was the only movie mm-hmm. where the entire Hogwarts is covered in snow the entire time. Snow, and it's a it's a harsh winter up there in and England. Snow, snow the whole time. Where'd all the snow? Which come I'm from? fine with that. I like that. Sit down but, right there if you want. Yeah, it's just. <sighs> what's what was your favorite part of this movie? The. Uh, Front house party. Okay, so you like it? What's the know. worst part of it you hated about this movie? Uh, the, the artsy scenes where they're going all the black and white. What and scenes just, are you talking about, dude? I'm telling you, go. I'm, I've been. I've watched it a million times. I just need specifics. What are you talking about? Like almost any time Draco's in there, it's black and white. Oh, that's your, where it gets darker. It's something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where when it's, him and Harry are fighting, and like Harry hits him with that spell. Yeah. That basically drains all of his blood out of him. It, it, you can see it in the book. It, it's yeah. a a separate symptom or something like that. It's a yeah. it's a spell right. that you find out is snake created right yeah yeah. Yeah. so and snake was like you tried because harry tried to use it on him he's like you try to use my spell on me come on buddy yeah come on he looks at him like what he's like i am the half blood prince (laughs) so ranking ranking what are you doing you you doing this is like this this was my least favorite i I can't believe that this is this is my absolute favorite one this was my least favorite oof oof i I it's so sad i'll tell you when they when they find you know you you once you get to to see the next two you know, when you see Dumbledore die and things like that, it's like, man, it's just, oh, I feel so bad. But I love this movie because of just how, I don't know, you find out so much or you see so much. And, and there you know. was just, and again, like back, like all the awkward. Yeah, that's it. You just stuff. look past like, that, man. You just look past that. And they're sitting there talking about, you know, Jeannie and Hermione. Like Harry's like, oh, I don't know. She's attractive. She has nice skin. She's got nice skin. And, and Ron's like, well, I guess Hermione has nice skin too, right? And he's like, I, I don't know, man. I haven't looked at her skin. Like, well, see, he's being the snake's being a jerk right here too. He's like, "Oh, it must be nice because you just happen to know that Draco did it." You know what I mean? And well, he's, he's well, still got that Snape's friggin' map. Always been a jerk to him. He's still right? got that damn yeah, map. He's still got the map, but it's just you've got that, and it's just I don't know. I just I just didn't like it. All right, cool. I don't know. Okay. It's I mean these things aren't for everybody. Yeah. Some people like them. Some people don't. You'll you'll like the next one. Or you'll like the first. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm so, ready for the next two. We'll see where it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. All right, there you go. Harry and everyone's leaving school now to go look for the whore cards. And you're such an idiot. <laughs> you're such an idiot. What do you mean? Uh, oh, they're, they're leaving at the end of the at the thing. end of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Harry's like, I can't come back. Yeah, yeah. You know, I won't. I won't see you guys next year. Blah yeah. blah 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 blah. 
and Hermione's like, whatever, bro, we're coming with you. Yeah. So right. we're the three musketeers. Pretty sure you'll hate that one too. So this is, I, these are getting I, great. I've, we've I've only got one. two left. So thank I've God for this one that I haven't liked. We got, we Deal got two, it. we got two more. So thank God for that. Yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, follow, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you have anything you want us to watch, uh, send over an email, part-time nerd podcast at gmail.com. Just send hate mail. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces.